What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as Hades, he's from the F2 clan. His name is Player. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Set, is Hagrid. The map is Drenched River. This is one of the special maps that uh, in this tournament. Uh, we'll get into it shortly, but Player won that first game 1-0, to zero, so he's up in the series. It's best of five, so you have to win three games to go on to the next round. Uh, Hagrid's Loki just not quite cutting it on that Marsh map in, and Player just completely decimated him with a really strong uh, classical age timing push with the uh, with the the Hades army followed with the Apollo follow up. Really well played there by Player. Uh, new game though, new me. Hagrid and Player seem to be knowing what's going on in this map. We've got a uh, Player moving forward to this hunt at the very start instead of staying in his base. He's leaving these hunt patches here. We've got two patches of deer in the base and we've got Player moving forward onto these deer straight away. I love this play from Player. You always, it's always really good if you can move forward onto hunt and then move backwards because that means it's harder for your opponents to deal damage to in the early classical age. Uh, Hagrid switching things up though. Now he's gonna be going for, he's gonna be going for the set. Uh, and set's really strong at the moment. If you can abuse the set mechanics, things like shifting sands, uh, things like putting pressure on early with the extra animals, we're seeing the priest converting some of these aurochs at the very start as well, gonna help him out a lot. And, and basically, if you can do it all right, you get a really strong economic advantage by getting your second town centers nice and early and, and doing all of the good stuff right here. Alrighty, so we've got, it looks like players just scouting out his base, just checking what's going on. Um, this map is super interesting just because it's basically marsh right in terms of how much hunt it has, but there's three areas that you can travel through and there's hunt in all three of them. Uh, so what this could mean if you were a player here, if you wanted to really harass um, Hagrid, you could be checking out these, these drenched river parts, these little passes that you can run through and basically guaranteed to find a priest early and, and stop the uh, conversions but he's chosen to scout his base instead of uh, instead of checking this out and now the priest is good to just get all of that information and we're going to see Hagrid sending a pig through here which is going to get picked up by player maybe that's going to mean that Hagrid's going to realize that there's something over here and he should be able to scoop that pig back up if he sends his high or set over here and yes he's running straight through here sees all these villagers gathering from the deer the deer are all dead and it feels good <laughs> Um, we've got the temple coming up now for Hagrid. This is looking like a very fast advance time. If we check out the resources for Hagrid, he's getting close to the uh, next stage. He's not building that next uh, next villager there. We are going to be seeing the very fast advance time from Hagrid. It's going to be a four. Well, he's going for a four minute. It was a little bit late, a little bit of inefficiency on the build order there. But the Pharaoh moving over now onto this mining camp. He should be able to get out a couple of priests, and he's going to be going for the shifting sands attack onto Hagrid onto a player's villages. Unfortunately, the villages need to be fixed up here. You need to move these villages in. Uh, it doesn't matter when you do it un unless they've dropped off their uh, their load, which Hagrid's just not paying attention to this at the moment. Looks like he's dealing with this scout over here. Still not moving this. This is going to be really bad. He really needs the uh, gold. Maybe Hagrid's not going to go for the attack, though. He can just go for the second town center straight away. Uh, neither of his town centers really secure anything for him though, which is really bad. Uh, it might be worth, well, I'll just shift onto this town center and grab it so that he can um, grab some hunt for free. We're seeing the vision coming down and the villagers, they're moving away. Sentinels is coming down. Is this gonna be too early? He's gonna have it. He's gonna be jumping right here onto these villages and he's gonna try and pick up every single one of them. There is this sentry tower though, and it looks like the villagers, oh, he gets one villager and the rest get straight into that sentry tower. This is really, really bad for Hagrid. He was hoping that he could pick off all the villagers on this location, but player just read it like a book. He saw the score drop. He knew exactly when Hagrid was gonna be advancing and he just pulled his villagers back, only loses one villager for shifting sands there. That's going to be huge for him right there. Uh, and the 
And so basically, Hagrid, uh, now he's got to get his town center on. He's got to go to town centers and, and try and survive the onslaught that is going to be this Ajax and Chiron coming out. This army of Hagrid's going to do nothing once these heroes are out. He's going to try and deal some damage over into these storehouses. But we do have the Sentinels up. Only got three Sentinels, though. This storehouse did cancel them out. I'm pretty sure if you have... Um, I'm pretty sure you can scroll your your mouse wheel to change where the the sentinels can show up and you could have just moved them across a little bit i think someone in the chat can tell me if i'm right about that or not i might be wrong and we've got more of these villagers coming out at this point we've got the uh the chiron and the ajax just fighting this location here good micro from player he doesn't really have to at this point he just needs to pick off as many of these units as he can he's not going to deal any damage we're seeing the archery range now coming down and the stable for player. Second town center is now coming up for Hagrid, but where's his pharaoh? His pharaoh has picked up the relic, but his villagers are in pain. It's boost, boots of kick everything. And Hagrid's just losing so many villagers. He can't do this. Just move the villagers away from the town center and come back to it. You're not gonna be taking this fight either. This is really bad for Hagrid so far. He's just lost three villagers to a free Minotaur right there. This is really, really bad. We've got the Catascopus over here in order to distract the Pharaoh even longer just to make this town center not go up. We're seeing some army now coming up for player. And here's the thing, player just needs to secure the hunt right now. This town center's up. There's this hunt over here and there's this hunt over here, but player can just build some army, send his, uh, rebuild his heroes, if he gets them back out, move them forward onto this hunt, and then this two town center shenanigans that's happened for uh, Hagrid is gonna be completely shut down. You can see he's on 0% building villages now, he's only on 26 food, and Hagrid, is gonna be in a real difficult place right now. We're seeing the second town center coming up for player, which I'm I'm a fan of, but I would prefer it to go up just a touch later. Maybe see a third military building for player instead of just the two. And he just goes for the hunt because uh, the, all of the hunt basically was picked off in that early attack that was being converted from uh, from Hagrid. And you should be able to tell he's only got one Oroch there. So if you can push off hunt, Two town centers is not a good thing, so it should be fine. Going his own two town centers is fine for him, and he's still going to be dealing a lot of damage to these villages at this point because there's no barracks up just yet. Boots of Kick, everything has been garrisoned, and the villages are under pain. Yet again, another village going down there, and the uh, the priest dealing a little bit of damage. Maybe able to pick off this minor tool, but Chiron and Ajax are back in here. That one Auroch of of um set or Auroch that's been converted got picked off. Yet again, these priests are going to be running forward, uh, running back it is, and Hagrid's tapping out really early there. GG, well played by player. That just comes down to player just, just reading Hagrid's strategy there. He has the Sentinels to defend his base early. He brings the hunt back. He baited the vision onto it. And, and Hagrid was just too slow. I mean, if he advanced right on the four minute mark, the villagers would have been about here. And he probably could have shifted right on top of them and got three or four of them. But because he advanced a 410, the villagers got to this location, which got into the sentry tower there. And he was completely safe from that attack. And then once the town center was not protecting any resources, that meant that uh, he could not, basically he could not hunt anymore. So GG well played by player, going up two to zero, uh, making this look easy. <laughs> it's definitely not easy, he's playing super well. Um, all right, we'll move into game number three very, very shortly. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, having a